Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you the voltage power rail of any laptop, okay? And of course, I'm going to show you and to teach you how to trace this voltage. So let's get started. So for example, here we have voltage reels or power rail. So for every computer, you will find the VN or the input voltage. So we have here the description this is the adapter power supply okay so the adapter it gives the vn about 19 volt okay here we have basically 18.5 volt okay so b plus so b plus means what the ec or better power rail for power circuit okay so the motherboard or the circuit for the motherboard are not powered directly with the v in or with the voltage of the adapter that voltage the vein should be passed through some component some protection components component that will sense the current and rectify and, and adjust the current etc okay and that's why this vo volt voltage becomes b plus so the b plus is basically the voltage for circuit circuit okay then we have the cpu core this voltage basically is for the cpu as you can see here we have core voltage for cpu cpu means central processing unit or the processor so this voltage is the main voltage for the cpu and of course the cpu as you know contain many channels it co could contain two three and over here we have the plus VCCP. So this plus VCCP always equal to 1.05 volt. Power rail for processor, input output, and MCH, ICH core power. So this VCCP voltage about 1.05 volt is basically common for all chipsets in the motherboard, including the, the CPU, the North bridge, the graphic card, the ICH, so all chipsets in the motherboard. And of course, here we have the state. As you know, I put a upload a video about this state, state S0, S1, S3, S5. What does this state mean? State of power. I, I'm sure that if you understand this state, you, you can easily understand how the motherboard work and you can easily repair and and isolate the problem of the motherboard so i will put for you the link of the video where i explain these states in the description box okay so for example for core voltage for cpu is on in state 0 and s1 but off in state 3 and s5 the same for plus vccp it is on in the state S0 is one but off in state three is five. So I advise you to watch the video in the in the description box in order to understand these states. So here as you can see we have 0 0.9 volts. So this voltage basically is the power rail for DDR2 VTT. This is for terminals, and the main voltage is 1.8 volt. As you can see here, we have plus 1.8 volt for DDR2. So for DDR1, the main voltage is 2.5 volt and the VTT voltage is 1.25 volt, as you can show here in the screen. And for DDR2, the main voltage is 1.8 volt, like as we have here, and the VTT is 0.9 volt. For DDR3, the main voltage is 1.5 volt, and the VTT or voltage fair terminal is the half means 0.75 volt for ddr4 the main voltage is 1.2 volt and vtt 0.6 volt for ddr5 the main voltage is 1.1 volt and the vtt or voltage for terminals is basically 0.55 volt okay so here we have 1.5 volt basically this is a powerful pc interface so this voltage is for interface and connectors okay then here we have plus 2.5 volt as we can see switched power rail for mch video so this is memory control hub okay so this is basically the not bridge and the graphic card so 2.5 volt is for also chipsets including graphic card and not bridge and of course here we have two two main voltages plus three volt always and plus five volt always this is one of two main voltage 
this is in every motherboard as i show you in the previous video based on these two, two voltages other voltages are developed okay so plus three volt always basically is always on parallel so basically this voltage is always on in all states as you can see on 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 all states this voltage is present the same also for plus five volt always as you can see okay so this is two main voltages we're gonna uh, we're gonna see and explain the three volt five volt circuit after explaining this table so here as you can see we have plus three volt vs this is basically basically switched power rail okay so this one is on just instead zero is one okay so here we have plus five vs the same tag and here we have rtc real time clock vcc equal to 3.3 volt on in all, all state because this is given by the battery by the CMOS battery so let's check right now circuits so basically this is the three volt five volt always as you can see here we have plus three volt always as you can see so let's choose this color in order to make tank clear clear for you okay so over here we have plus three volt always as you can see and here we have plus five volt always so this is the ic to control ic the respo simple ic that generate these two voltages here as you can see we have the first channel for five volt and here we have the other channel for 3.5 volt okay so i told you before that this is two main important voltage in the motherboard because based it on these two voltages other voltages are generated okay so if we want to trace a little bit the voltage here so here we have the bubble the b plus as we have seen before okay this is the b plus means 19 volt or 18.5 volt in this laptop so let's choose this arrow for example in order to make tank easier so this 19 volt will pass through this inductor so basically this induction will adjust the current it will increase the current if the current is not correct and then the voltage will pass through this capacitors basically these two capacitors will filter the current okay and we remove the noise from the current okay then the voltage will go directly here to drain of this driver this is basically a driver and of course this is a double mosfet we call this double mosfet because here we have as you can see drain one drain two okay we have gate one gate two and we have source one and source two so this is a double mosfet we call it sometimes driver so basically this mosfet is here for this voltage in order to generate this voltage so this mosfet will take 19 volt as you can see okay and then after receiving the control signal here for the gate one okay the control signal here we have drive high five and also so this gate should be also controlled this gate as you can see so then this mosfet will generate the 3 volt here in its source and then the 3 volt will go in the direction as you can see here we have induction that will adjust the current and we will get 5 volt over here okay and of course we have this capacitor this electrolytic capacitor that will filter the voltage and and make the voltage a continuous voltage okay so what about do plus three volts so for plus three volt always as you can see we have here also the same voltage so we have here the b plus okay b plus plus the same the same okay so it just means for do plus three volt always so this voltage about 90 volt will pass through this filter capacitors and will be applied to this driver also this is a double mosfet here we have drain two here we have drain one, source one, source two, gate one, and gate two. Means this driver or this IC <coughs> include two MOSFET inside it. Okay, I'm going to explain to you in a, a separate video how to test and all about this kind of MOSFET, double MOSFET. Okay, so the 19 volt will be applied here 
This MOSFET will receive the control signal here in its gate, gate 1 and gate 2 from this IC. Okay. <coughs> so, and then we will get here in the source, we will get plus 3.3 volt. This voltage, of course, will be goes and pass, of course, through this induction. This induction will rectify and will increase the current. Okay, because the inductor, so the capacitor is made for voltage, okay, to to keep the voltage and discharge it in a specific time. But for inductor, it do the same thing, but for the current. So here we will get plus 3.3. Of course, here we have the same thing as here. We have the electrode capacitor that will filter the current in order to get, of course, a pure voltage. So that's it for this circuit gas for 3.3 volt 5 volt always i hope that you enjoy, enjoy the video thank you very much and i'm sorry for my voice basically i'm sick a little bit but no problem so thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe share and like the video because you like your engagement really motivate me to create more and more videos for you thank you very much and see you in the next video